when we got there, and there were small fires burning all over the place. We kicked them out with our feet as best we could. Most of the rest of the personnel ran to the, the fuselage to try to get the bodies out there. The 40 snow plow and maintenance workers told their stories yesterday at Stapleton. They were the first ones on the crash scene, and they did the best they could to keep the survivors warm. They gave them their coats and put them in their snow plows. Mike Talley found a baby old, buried in the snow. He kept it warm until a fireman arrived. He was breathing. He, he wasn't crying. His eyes were closed. And the fireman said he probably wouldn't make it. Do you know what he did? I read in the paper, no, he didn't. Others also told about sort of passengers shot, dying in their arms. And, uh, there was one man that was caught under the plane, and he was bleeding out of his mouth and his nose. I mean, this guy named Dave Dillon picked him up and he, he was worried about where his wallet was and stuff and we were trying to calm him down and everything and just about less than five minutes he just just died right in our hands there and you'd help you can the still see the pain in their uh, eyes they know they saved a lot of lives but still the they wish they could have done inside. more it was uh, real hard to stand there and listen to uh, a lot of the people that were screaming for help and uh, not able to help them, but uh, we all worked together, we worked real hard. None of us stopped to think what could have happened. None of us stopped to think about ourselves. Liz Axon, 9 News.